If you do not have a shortcut on your desktop, you need to go to this location on your PC. Remembering 64-bit computers will have program files x86, 32-bit or older computers will be program files. Run the get logs application. We are now going to connect the laptop. Make sure this jumper is across both pins. Power the board off by unplugging this connector. Connect your laptop to the RS-232 cable. Plug the power connector carefully back into the socket. The following application will now open. Like previous applications, you must select the correct COM port for your laptop. And likewise, newer boards will connect via build 22. Much older boards may require you to connect via build 21. You will need to play with either to see if it works. Let's log on to the board. We can see we have 194 logs in the database that we can upload, or 194 events. We're currently viewing them 10 by 10, but in all honesty, it's very hard to interpret these logs on site because they are just a date and timestamp of every input when it went on and when it went off. So in hindsight, it is best to save this file um, to your laptop and we'll do something with it later with a different application. So let's save these logs. It will automatically date and timestamp the file. You need to add in the name of where you currently are located so that you can use this information later. So again, will be ABC Engineering in Santon. Hit OK to save that file on your laptop. You can now put the system back online and leave the customer. A good option is actually to clear the logs after you've saved them. Um, you don't wish to see these again. So you simply go to the clear logs. Are you sure you want to delete them all? Say yes. And the next time you log on, so we'll log off now, and then we'll log back on. You will see at the top of the screen, the logs are now zero. So only events after today when you leave will be logged. You must not leave the Forcecom 1 jumper on. It must not be in the position shown. Power the board off by unplugging. Put that jumper across a single pin only and carefully reinsert the power connector.